This is Garuda Linux GNOME Edition. It features the GNOME desktop. So yeah, this is basically the GNOME desktop, pretty standard GNOME desktop. It's one of the more popular Linux desktops these days. And it's less configurable than KDE, but it works pretty well and it looks nice by default, depending on what you like. I found GNOME to also be very stable, especially compared to KDE, at least on other distros. So I'm just gonna poke around GNOME here. Um, nothing too crazy. You can hit the super or the mod key, basically the Windows key, to uh, you know switch to this view and where you can see like your desktops and stuff, and then you can you could hit mod A or Windows A to hit this view where you see all your apps and um, th this actually shows multiple desktops you could switch to. Um, if you just hit the Windows key, it just does this. It'll show you all your running apps. Uh, basically the same as every other GNOME desktop. I've already done a few distros with GNOME already. This is just my, my first time looking at, uh, you know, GNOME on Garuda GNOME. So not a ton we want to review for this. You, you can switch to this view and it's just going to kind of do that. Nothing in switch desktops. Standard GNOME stuff also has this little thing up here you can switch this mode in and once you're here you can click down here for your apps basically standard gnome stuff comes with all these uh regular gnome utilities and stuff here it comes with gedit actually and uh let's see is this actually about G -Edit? this is gedit it comes with gedit all right how about that yeah it comes with extensions installed already a few other applications um relatively standard stuff so one other thing I wanted to show you, the terminal that comes with this, uh, not seeing it right. You know what, they didn't put a shortcut here. It does come with GNOME disks, GNOME tweaks, and GNOME extensions. GNOME terminal right here on the second page. Always like to put a link to that right down there. GNOME Terminal. Notice they customize it like with it with the other uh, Garuda Linux editions. Um, you, you get your prompt here, everything on this one line here, and the next line is where your actual prompt is. When, when you first log into a terminal, it gives you all this information about your system, and we are using the fish shell by default. Let's make sure. Fish shell by default. Still has bash if you want it, but fish by default. Now, this also does come with a collection of Garuda Linux specific tools and utilities. I cover these in detail in my main Garuda Linux video where I also talk more about Garuda Linux in general and you know what it is and what sets it apart, all that stuff. I also have other videos where I demo each one of the different Garuda Linux editions. Uh, you should definitely check those videos out. I have them all linked in the description of this video. And I also have a playlist with all my Garuda Linux videos. Anyways, yeah, check those videos out. Um, real quick, I just wanted to show you Garuda Rani right here. So this is that first application that was running when we started. Let's you do a lot of stuff. Uh, you, you can install packages, uh, change system settings, um, lots of gaming related settings, um, maintenance stuff you can do, update your system, clean cache, all that sort of stuff. This is one of a few different Garuda Linux specific tools available. So I, I, this is, uh, but yeah, I have way more, I'm going to cover this in I do cover this in a whole lot more detail along with the other Garuda Linux specific tools, in, uh, which is why I'm not looking into these specific things down here. Um, most of these are just standard GNOME things. A few of them are Garuda Linux specific. We have like BTRF Assistant and um, a, a few other things that we, we have like Snapper, um, Setup Assistant, stuff like that. Um, Garuda System Maintenance Settings, a lot, lot of great stuff. Um, cover those separately and I'm in my big Garuda Linux video. So this is just to show specifically the, the Garuda GNOME edition. And I've also included basically everything in this video in that big video too. So if you want all the editions and all the, Gru all the Garuda info you could possibly want, check that video out. Anyways, that's it for today. So remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on that next video.